Ever since Marcel Duchamp challenged the conventional thoughts about art in the early 1900s with his found objects that he called ready-mades, there has been a blurring of the lines between art and technology. The ready-mades of Marcel Duchamp are ordinary manufactured objects that he selected, modified to varying degrees, and presented as art. By simply choosing the object or objects and repositioning or joining, tilting, and signing it, he asserted that the object became art. He selected the pieces on the basis of visual indifference, that is, no matter how long one looked at the piece, there was no sense of aesthetic beauty or lack of it, only a utilitarian value. My idea was to choose an object that wouldn't attract me either by its beauty or by its ugliness. To find a point of indifference in my looking at it, you see. Duchamp's most famous work of art was Fountain. He purchased a urinal, turned it so that the surface mounted on the wall became its base and signed it R. Mutt, 1917. It is perhaps best known for the huge historical scandal it sparked in the art world, the Richard Mutt case. It was refused entry to the first exhibition of the Society of Independent Artists at the Grand Central Palace in New York in April 1917. A huge commotion followed Duchamp described his intent with the piece was to shift the focus of art from physical craft to intellectual interpretation. In traditional terms, a commonplace object such as a urinal cannot be said to be art because it is not made by an artist or with any intention of being art, nor is it unique or handcrafted. However, Duchamp wanted people to see art as more than just the end product. The symbolic meaning or idea is more important than the aesthetic value. A direct line can be established between current art and the ideas of Duchamp, whether new technologies are involved or not. According to Frank Popper, the inspiration for contemporary technological art are photography and cinema, land art, light and kinetic art, cybernetic art, installation art, performance and conceptual art. Duchamp has influenced all of these to some extent. In her search for an art historical context for internet art, Rachel Green states that many net artists feel a strong connection to the work of French artist Marcel Duchamp. Joseph Kosuth cited Duchamp as a historical and influential force in moving from the modern to the postmodern styles with his ready-mades, which were concerned with the process of art over the final aesthetic product. The obvious role of technology in an art piece means that we must recognize the emergence of the new art form. This new art form approaches digital technologies as a variety of techniques of reproduction and replication as practiced by such pre-digital artists as Marcel Duchamp with his ready-mades. In the past 10 years, with the advent of software tools for easy extracting, editing, publishing and distributing of music and video, the mashup has become popular. A mashup is any type of media, such as a song or video, that combines material from multiple sources to create a new work. Creating digital mashups have raised questions of intellectual property and copyright. While questioning the law, mashups are also questioning the very act of creation. Are the artists creating when they use other individuals' work? Duchamp would say yes. With his ready-mades, he disproved that great art had to be original and handmade. This media project itself is a mashup and could be considered a ready-made. In particular, an assisted ready-made or assemblage such as Duchamp's Why Not Sneeze, Rose Salavi? There has long been a connection between art and technology, one that can be traced back to the dawn of recorded history. New media art cannot exist without technology, and the relationship between them is constantly changing and evolving. Pre-digital artist Marcel Duchamp has, and will continue to have, a great influence.